Okay, we've made it to the last day of our 30-day yoga swing challenge. Thank you so much for sticking with it. This has been so exhilarating and such a wonderful offering, and I hope that you've gotten a lot out of it. We have worked the legs, the shoulders, the arms, the belly, the back, the neck. We have covered the whole entire body. So please do keep watching the videos and reviewing them and enjoying the practice. And there's over a thousand videos on YouTube for you to check out if you wanted to go deeper into the practice. This is all part of the Error X program that I'm creating for regenerative therapeutics to distinguish the swing as a therapy practice and for something that can heal and align the body. So my tagline for aerial yoga play is open, align, and release the spine. So I'm really working on the two major hubs of the body, the neck and shoulders and the lower back and hips. And this is where we collect tension, but it's also the intersection for the nervous system and the lymphatics and the overlay of the chakra system along the spine for the endocrine system. And these are all things that we can systematically heal and release and open for optimal health in the body. So we save the best for last. We're going to get into the swing and open it up for our Shavasana and get into a cocoon. And I did show you the relaxation process and the practice in day four, and this is how we're going to end for today. So I'm going to show you the different variations you can do in the swing for your Shavasana, mainly leg variations, but there's some other stretches as well. You want to grab a handful so that way when you put the swing underneath your bum, you can stretch it out and sit in it and make sure that it extends down to your knees. Now after I get you in the swing, I'm going to sit up and lead you through a little guided meditation. You can just stay laying back throughout the entire Shavasana. Okay, so once you're here, go ahead and sink back and make sure your head is in the swing. It's really important that the swing covers the entire head and isn't underneath the neck, which could strain the cervical spine. And then the first pose here is just kicking up like a viparita, the legs up the wall pose. So we're going to extend our legs in a V-shape towards the sky, and you can rest your hands on your lap, give yourself a hug, or extend them overhead with bent elbows to open up the chest. Find your favorite variation and just let yourself drop in here. Sink the hips down. Let the belly soften and the heart open as your spine takes on the shape of the swing. So I call it cocooning because we're going into the metamorphosis. We're letting ourselves be completely transformed and shifted with the practice. So we're slowing it down. We start to let the breath naturally breathe you. So life force energy is pulsing through the spine. And for anybody, if this is uncomfortable for the legs, I'm going to invite you to reach over and grab the leg loops and kick them forward and use those like stirrups on your feet so you can extend over the arches of the feet and spread out the leg loops as well as the swing so that you stretch them all the way to the calf. Okay? So whichever way that you feel comfortable, go ahead and make your own adjustments, make it your own practice. But this is a wonderful way to extend the legs if there's any sort of discomfort in the lower back or in the legs themselves, sometimes stretching them out in front of you would be a better option. Now wherever you are, go ahead and just sink in and let yourself fully let go. Feel like you're being hugged and cradled by the Divine Mother that the swing represents. Feel like you can gather up the nourishment and the nurturance from this gentle rocking relaxation practice. So the swing is going to start to soothe and calm the nervous system as well as naturally boost the immune system and metabolism just by rocking you and holding you. It's a nice way to calm the body, like when we're babies, we're rocked often to be soothed, and then as adults, we don't get that experience again. So it's really nice to curl up in the swing and just let yourself go. It can be made into a full rebirthing process and deeper meditation. I'm just going to give you 
a little taste today on how to relax the limbs, to let go of any tension, to let the brain relax and the thoughts relax, and let the heart sink back in. Let the eyes relax, let the hips be heavy. Just let yourself go entirely. Do one last body scan and make sure that there's no holding, no tension. If there is, just give yourself a little wiggle. Let yourself shift from side to side to get more comfortable and then let everything go. Feel like you can put it all down, put down the weight of the day, put down the stresses of our daily lives and release the thoughts that are weighing heavy on you. Release the tension that lives on the surface of the skin. Just give yourself five long, luxurious minutes to hang out in the swing and feel yourself drifting and dropping in to those deeper recesses of your being. Let the breath naturally breathe you as life force energy and that consciousness that exists in all things pulses through. Feel yourself connected in one with the air and the atmosphere around you. Feel yourself blending with all of life. The entire universe is harmonically coded to support you and receive you, feel that connection, feel that depth in the center of your being, that knowing of your belonging and your return home to the center of yourself. And as you continue to let yourself drift, drift and sink down into the cells, you can feel them vibrating in a dance as you feel the natural upliftment and up-leveling of your being, the remembering of who you are. Let this play practice be one of profound healing and fun as your body comes back into harmony with all of the elements, with its power, with its grace, And when we're ready to come out of our womb, we're going to start to grow past the edges of our cocoon and simply just stretch the arms overhead behind you. Gently rock from side to side, letting the feet explore in this space if you're using the leg loops. So this gentle fish tailing and rhythm wave that you are creating through the spine allows you to start to deep in the breath and consciously bring more <clears throat> oxygen and more blood from the tips of your toes all the way up through the legs and breathing into the tailbone all the way up the spine to the crown of the head and out through the fingertips. Feel this unified field of energy surrounding you spinning and aligning and opening the chakras to activate the endocrine system. Feel the body start to expand and open as you continue to stretch and lift the hips gently towards the sky to open up the side body and the rib cage to breathe more deeply into the intercostals and drink the breath all the way up into the collarbones. And then exhale completely and put the breath down and pause and just relax here. Take five more long, deep breaths just like that, filling yourself up to wholeness and then emptying yourself with grace and ease. Feel that pulsation running through your entire body, this opportunity at every moment to awaken bring in new life force energy as well as release the old and let go of anything that is no longer necessary or needed for your growth and expansion. And then we're going to release the right leg loop, lift the, the right leg towards the sky, 
hold on to the bottom of the foot and swing the legs away from one another. Give the back body a little bit of a stretch down the hamstring. And then pull the left foot up towards the sky, release the leg loop, and switch legs. So extend the right, scissor the legs away from one another, and stretch through the left side of the hamstring and back body. Play the game of how slow can you go as you release both feet down towards the ground, bending the knees, and then just reach your arms up towards the sky, praise the heavens, and hold on to the sides of the swing to lift yourself up. And while you're sitting here, start to anchor down and root down. Welcome yourself back onto the earth. Maybe your toes touch, maybe they don't. But send that grounding cord down into the crystalline core and welcome yourself back on this earth. We're going to buoyantly let ourselves sink down in order to rise up. So it's from the rooting down that we can rise and lift our spine and feel that alignment. When you feel ready, inhale, arms up towards the sky. Be receptive to the light and sink your feet into the earth as you rise up. Release the swing, inhaling up, and then exhale, come to prayer, landing it in the center of the heart. And just even with that short meditation, notice how different you feel. Notice how there is a lightness of your being as well as a steadiness. So the cells can be excited and dancing and vibrating and then can be an overall calm and soothing to the nervous system all at the same time. It's been such a pleasure and honor to share this practice with you. I am Jen Healy and this is the Aerial Yoga Play Program. These are the AirX Yoga Swings. And I look forward to seeing you in person at some point, sometime soon. Stay in touch with us and please do go to the website to find out more about our trainings and workshops. It is aerialyogaplay.com. Please do leave your comments below. I'm super excited to be giving away a swing. I'm going to do an interview and uh, in-person video with the winner and you'll get to see who that is and they will get to share their transformational experience of the last 30 days with you live. So that'll happen next week. Fingers crossed. If there is any other feedback or comments you'd like to give, please do leave them below and I will be in touch with you. Thanks again. Namaste.